you tired of feeling like every day with your child is a battle? Do tantrums, defiance, and meltdowns seem to dominate your household? Welcome to our four-part parenting course, Managing Challenging Behaviors, through our Stanford Parenting Center and brought to you by the Stanford Center for Health Education, where we'll equip you with the strategies and insights to transform those moments of frustration into opportunities for growth and connection with your child. Join us as we delve into practical techniques and empowering approaches to foster harmony and understanding in your family dynamic. My name is Kyle Cassidy, and I'm joined by child psychiatrist, Dr. Mari Kurahashi, and child psychologist, Dr. Elizabeth Richer, co-directors of the Stanford Parenting Center. At the Parenting Center, we currently teach this class as a live virtual parenting class. We're excited to share this class in a recorded format so that we can reach even more caregivers with this vital information. We know how hard it is to respond to challenging behaviors in our children, both from our personal experiences as parents and through our work supporting caregivers at the Parenting Center. Caregivers play an essential role in helping children effectively problem solve and tolerate stressors to be healthy and resilient. Let's start by going over some of the basics about the course. Who is this course for? This course is designed to support parents as well as the many different caregivers who play a vital role in caring for children and is best suited for ages five through 12. I want to highlight that we will be using the term caregiver throughout the course to describe the role of important individuals whose presence shape the health and well being of children. This may include biological and adoptive parents, foster parents, single parents, step parents, older siblings and other relatives and non-relatives. This course is not designed to provide therapy. Should you feel that you need more support than what we offer here, we encourage you to reach out to your current healthcare provider. What parenting approach is used in this course? There are hundreds of different kinds of parenting approaches, many of which are effective and helpful. In this course, we'll focus on behavioral approaches which focuses on the idea that we learn from our environment. We recommend this approach for a few reasons. First, it has lots of research to back it up. Secondly, it's all about taking action and finding solutions. This means we can get results quicker. And finally, it's all about swapping out the old for the new. We're pinpointing those problem behaviors and swapping them out for ones that work better. It's like giving your family dynamics a much needed upgrade. We'll also focus on positive parenting, which includes behavioral approaches as well. Positive parenting is an approach to raising children that focuses on building strong, nurturing relationships, setting clear boundaries, and using positive reinforcement to encourage desirable behavior. It emphasizes empathy, communication, and mutual respect between parents and children aiming to foster their emotional and social development in a supportive environment. Positive parenting is all about being your child's biggest support, setting clear rules, working together, and ditching the harsh stuff. It's like being their coach, mentor, and biggest fan all rolled into one. How is this course structured? This course is structured into four modules designed to impart practical skills and strategies. We recommend taking a week between each module to practice these techniques at home before progressing. It's important to follow the order of the modules as each builds upon the content of the previous ones. Week one will provide an introduction to challenging behaviors covering foundational concepts like relationship rupture and repair and emotion regulation. Week two is all about positive reinforcement, what it is and why it works, and some specific strategies you can use with your child. Week three introduces selective attention, which can be used for mildly challenging behaviors. 
Week four teaches about how to set limits to address the most challenging behaviors. Throughout each week's module, we will pause periodically so that you can answer some questions and guided reflection exercises. We urge you not to skip these as they are designed to set you up for success when you implement the strategies at home. We also encourage you to explore the additional resources that are available to you through the Stanford Parenting Center. We offer a library of caregiving videos, webinars, educational resources about common childhood mental health concerns, as well as live online classes, caregiver-focused treatment options, and a mindful caregiving group. Don't forget to also follow the Stanford Parenting Center on social media for science-backed caregiving tips. Thank you for joining us for this course. We hope that we can be a source of support for you and your family as you more effectively manage challenging behaviors that are arising within your home. As we embark on this journey together, please take a moment now to reflect on why you are taking this course.